Hello everybody, this is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to Vegas Movie Studio Platinum, as well as the MoviePicks.com Guide to DVD Architect. And here we are in part four of our eight-part basic training with Vegas Movie Studio Platinum. Now, we've got our project going, we've learned how to gather our media and to add them to our timeline. It's time to start adding effects to our movie. And there are a couple of ways to do that. Number one, you can go over here to the FX panel, and that's the uh, video effects panels in the upper left of the program, sharing along with this tab workspace, a number of other assets. And here we could grab any one of these effects and drag them down onto our event. We can also go to the event itself and click on the effects button right here in the upper right hand corner, and that will open our plugin chooser. It's exactly the same list of effects as you'll see in little thumbnails here in the upper left of the program. So it depends on which way you find it more uh, intuitive. You can either drag them down here from this panel or browse through the plugin chooser. Now you can also apply an effect to an entire track. So in other words, if I use this effects button to open up the plugin chooser and I were to choose, for instance, black and white and apply that effect, you notice that it affects every single video clip that happens to be on this video track. And it appears right here on the track header, that can be toggled open or closed, it appears right on the track header as an effect. So let's remove that effect by clicking on the effects button, going up here to the video track effects dialog window and clicking remove plugin. So you can apply to an individual event or to every video on a particular track. Or if you go up here to the upper right and go to the preview window, you'll see that there is a video output effect. And if I were to have a pretty complicated movie laid out on my timeline, I can choose from the plugins and apply the same effect. So for instance, sphere eyes to my entire movie. And now that would be applied to every single video clip on the entire movie. And now let's remove that effect by going to the dialog window and clicking remove plugin there. Now you notice there's also the audio equivalent. You can add an effect to an audio track. You can apply it to an individual audio event on the timeline, or you can apply it by going over here to the master meter and you can click on effects there and apply it to your entire movie. Now one other way to apply an effect is to pre-apply the effect before you add the clip to your timeline. So in other words, if you apply a media effect, you're applying it to the base media here, it will be applied, pre-applied, whenever you use that particular clip in your movie. Well, where's that an advantage? Well, one place is if you've got a shaky video, like I've got one here, it's called shaky video. And if I right click and I select the option to add media effects, I can apply the video stabilizer to it. Now that will be pre-applied. In other words, it will be pre-stabilized and the shakiness will be removed from that clip no matter when I use it, where I use it in this particular video project. You can see there are a number of things I could correct color, for instance. I could apply an auto look, which is color grading, to give my clip a particular tone. And I can pre-apply that, and then every time I use that clip in my movie, it's pre-applied. Let's try the video stabilizer here, because this is an effect, if you try to apply it to an event or to a, a track, it's not going to allow you. You can only pre-apply it as a media effect. So let's select it here from the plugin chooser. And again, we're applying this to this clip that's here in the project media panel. Now this particular effect, if I open it up, you see really doesn't have any settings. It's entirely automatic. So we'll click stabilize. It's going to analyze that media clip and it's going to pre-apply the stabilization keyframes to it. So in other words, there's a lot of shake in this clip. As a matter of fact, let's look at it. I'm going to drag it to the timeline, put it down here. We'll move the playhead over it. And I'm going to turn off temporarily the effect by unchecking it here in the dialog window. Let's look at this driving clip here before we apply our shake stabilizer. You can see it's pretty shaky. And now let's turn back on that media effect. So we've pre-applied the shake stabilizer to it or the video stabilizer to it. And now look at this clip on the timeline. And you see a lot of the shake has been removed from it. Now that has been, as I say, applied to the media clip. So no matter how many times I use this clip or wherever I use it, that effect has been pre-applied to it. 
So a number of ways to apply your effect. And we'll look at how to apply an effect and how to customize an effect in our next session here. But just know that in Vegas Movie Studio, there's a number of ways to apply an effect. To an individual event, to a video or an audio track, to a media effect while it's still in project media, or to your movie overall. We talk more about this and how to make this work to your advantage in the moviepix.com guide to Vegas Movie Studio Platinum. And I hope you'll join me here for part five.